number nine has some pretty unique properties when you look at multiplying. I want you to see here I have nine times one through nine times 10. I'm gonna deal with the tens place and the ones place separately. I'm gonna start off by counting with zero. I go down the tens place, and I'm simply gonna label all the way down numerically. So again, that is just the tens place. We know that nine times one equals nine, so there's a zero in the tens place. Now I'm gonna go in reverse, and I'm gonna start with nine and count down in the ones place. Watch what happens. You can see we get all the right answers when it comes to our multiplication problems by going in the tens place starting with zero all the way to nine and going in the ones place starting with nine going all the way down to zero. Just kind of a neat pattern you can show your students. Check the comments below to follow me on Twitter and Blogger and of course follow Brighton Township Schools, Woodland Elementary and Kingsford Middle School all on Facebook. Have a great day.